Yo, what up everybody? Hope you're having a good uh, Friday. It's Friday today. Uh, if I can find my keys, I really can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so let's see. Today, what are we gonna talk about? I'll be honest with you guys. I'm like super tired. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but I have not been sleeping good this week in particular. It's one of those tossing and turning all night kind of sleeps. The stupid cat is like up in my face, or he was last night anyway. <laughs> his wit, like he comes to smell me, like his whiskers hit my nose. I'm like, dude. So, well, I guess he knew I wasn't sleeping anyway, so why not just bother me a little bit? But anyway, um, so I'm gonna really just ramble about nothing this today. So here's your opportunity to turn it off if you don't want to just hear what's going on in my brain. But uh, <laughs> so yesterday was an interesting day. Um, if you pay attention to like kind of global events and you kind of know generically what's going on is Julian Assange which is the WikiLeaks guy, if you know what WikiLeaks is, it's basically this organization that started in 2006, and basically whistleblowers would go there, and they would talk about, you know, military secrets, government secrets, all this other kind of stuff, and, you know, some people think that's like a traitorous, treasonous act or whatever, and some people think it's noble because, you know, you're standing up to truth, and you're, and you're telling people what's going on, and you feel like people have a right to know the truth instead of all the lies that are kind of propagated by to say the governments and the media organizations of the world and all that kind of stuff, right? So, I mean, I, it's kind of a divisive issue or whatever, right? But, um, and, I, and to be completely honest, I don't even know if Julian Assange is a uh, good guy or a bad guy. I mean, I tend to believe that if somebody's in the mainstream media and super popular, you know, they tend to be a plant, like a controlled opposition, you know what I mean? To give us the idea that, well, maybe somebody is fighting for the truth, but in reality, it's just to give us those warm, fuzzy feelings so we don't question things too much, right? We're easy to control when we're not questioning or seeking truth or anything like that, right? So, uh, we'll see. I mean, I kind of am, op I'll be quite honest with you, I'm pretty optimistic that uh, everything's about to change for the better. Um, I don't know if anybody listens to the, or follows the QAnon guy on the 8chan boards, but he's been talking about all this stuff that's coming to fruition, like uh, about corruption being exposed in the government and it seems like uh, if you follow it's not going to be in the mainstream media or anything like that but if you follow some of the headlines and some of the other organizations out there more independent media that you know things are happening as he says they're happening so I tend to have a lot of hope that it's happening you know I'm always still kind of speculative and what I mean by that is I just always kind of pay attention to what else is going on, it's continuously developing, you know what I mean? Because I'm not really loyal to, you know, the movement or anything like that, uh, but I am interested in the truth and uh, people who seek the truth. And I think that, like they say, the truth will set you free. And I really believe that, right? And so the the stuff that's been happening, it makes me excited. I'm hoping that it'll, it'll get out there and like everybody will kind of wake up. I mean, we're at this one, in my humble opinion, at this point in human history, we're so, we're so close. We're so close to like breaking free of the shackles of enslavement. And I truly believe that, you know, these uh, government organizations, which is kind of hard for me to say because like, you know, I like America and stuff, you know, and uh, I enjoy our country. But at the same time, you know, you got to, what do I really enjoy about America? Well, I enjoy the, the values and, uh, kind of like the founding principles of it but it's not the same as it was you know in 1776 things have changed a whole lot since then and you know we're kind of uh under some sort of trance hypnosis but we really a lot of people can't see that you know they're still just like America, freedom of speech or whatever right and uh meanwhile like in the state of texas if i was to literally hook up a bucket to collect rain and put a tube on it to my bathtub that would be illegal because i need a permit to harvest rainwater i mean <laughs> That's real. I mean, think about it. like that's freedom. You know, I, I just don't know about that or whatever, right? So anyway, it's been uh, subverted. It's been taken over, and uh, you know, I think ultimately, really big, big picture stuff is the that in the future, nations won't be a thing. Governments won't be a thing. You know, like it's going to be us. We our own self governance is really what's going to be. And there's systems in place right now that are allowing that to occur. 
So we talk about things like cryptocurrency, right? But nobody's familiar with that. You know, Bitcoin's the most popular one, but basically it's a blockchain technology that allows, it allows direct peer-to-peer -peer interaction with each other, right? Which is a big deal. Like people don't understand how many systems are in place to stop that from occurring. And all those gatekeepers basically can do whatever they want with you. And they have a lot of power and control and censorship, whatever they want. But with something like the Bitcoin protocol, basically it's permissionless, it's anonymous, it's, um, and permissionless is a big deal because like people don't, especially what's been happening as of late where people get deplatformed like Alex Jones and you know, even speaking of WikiLeaks, they weren't allowed to use PayPal back in, 2006 when they were asking for money, like, you know, these organizations, these centralized organizations, which most people can't even become anyway, because in order for you to get going, there's so many rules and regulations in place that the average Joe couldn't afford. Like, there's no way I could start Joe Airlines. You know what I mean? You know how many millions and millions of dollars it would take for me to start that, which is great for the big dogs out there who spend, you know, lots and lots of money to U.S. Regular, regulators to lobby them so that they create these rules that basically say, well, unless you're a mega corp and you have all these ends, you basically can't do it, aka no competition, aka monopoly. I mean, it's very real or whatever, right? But, you know, I digress and I say kind of for the first time, uh, well, maybe not the first time in human history, but at this moment in human history, you know, even somebody, you know, as simple-minded as myself I can see it I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and I just feel like um, it's it's good like it's coming and people are waking up slowly but surely you know what I mean and uh, one of the things that helps you wake up is when you get a healthy body and a healthy mind it helps your ability to, ability to discern and feel things out and uh, use your intuition a little bit better and when you can do things like that then uh, it's easy to see the lies that are just being propagated everywhere. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of a lot of what they do is they evoke emotional responses. So uh, it's kind of like that AOC chick, you know, who they say she's morally correct even if she's factually wrong. You know what I mean? And so they kind of say like the ends justify the means. So she'll say stuff that is kind of bonkers or whatever, and <laughs> it doesn't really hold up any fact testing. But because it gives you warm, fuzzy, ooey gooey feelings, like you're supposed to relate and figure it out and support it and if you question it then you're immoral you're a nazi or whatever right so it's ridiculous that that's basically the control techniques that they use but like i said as you become more healthy and you become more grounded and you're able to kind of see this kind of stuff you're more centered uh you're more yang you know uh you can see right through it or whatever right and so it's it's, it's also a lot to do with that kind of pushing down exercise that we do, right? Uh, you know, Roy Masters was the one who, who was a hypnosis, uh, he was a hypnotist, and he told everybody, he was like, listen up. He was like, you know, I do this to help people out, but what he learned is that everybody's kind of hypnotized, like there's a mass trance going on in the world, right? So when you do something like the pushing down exercise, it brings you out of that mass trance, and you can just see things better. I mean, the Bible talks about those who have eyes to see, see, and ears to hear, hear, you know what I mean? Scott Adams, who's another good guy that I like, he's the Dilbert cartoon guy, he's a master of uh, persuasion, is basically how he sees the world, so he thinks that people that are more persuasive tend to have more influence or are more correct about predicting future events, and he's kind of one of the people that does that, and he has a good track record. He talks about this concept of two movies on the same screen at once, where somebody can just read a headline or see an article or something like that, and they can be like... Uh, wow, like this is a terrible thing. And somebody can see the exact same thing and they're like, whoa, this is a great thing, you know what I mean? And to me, I kind of can relate to that because it's all about that hypnotic trance thing. And since I've kind of broken the trance, at least I've broken it down some, I don't know, maybe I'm all the way out, maybe I'm not. Uh, I can s just see through it all, you know what I mean? And you get tired of it too. You just get tired of uh, listening and hearing all this phony baloney stuff propagated and all your friends and family they just believe it and they talk about it all the time and you know you start to realize like it's just a big distraction and it's really you know, deflecting from the important things in life and the really the important things in life are you know seeking the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of heaven is within or whatever right and I've noticed that as of late too like I've never really followed politics or current events but I kind of started in 2016 basically right around when Trump was getting uh, his presidential run in order because it became shockingly entertaining to watch this guy come in and just totally blow up the status quo and everybody couldn't handle it, you know what I mean? And I still think it's pretty funny to watch him just like, you know, be a more regular guy. I mean, a lot of modern day prophets, uh, 
say that he's a, king, a modern day King David. So King David, if, for those who don't know, he's basically somebody who was uh, anointed by God to lead the people of Israel and he was a common man, you know what I mean? So Trump coming out of nowhere, being a quote, quote, common man, AKA non-politician, non-lifer, uh, you know, he's doing the thing and some people love him, some people hate him or whatever, right? But it kind of goes back to one of the videos I made the other day where I said, everything's kind of funny. Well, if you really pay attention to what's going on with him, it's pretty hilarious. I'm sorry, it really is. Uh, you should <laughs> you should really see just how all these tightwads and all these people who love the levers of control are now, you know, having to give them up to this guy. And like they're trying basically everything they can in their power to stop him and he keeps failing. So, you know, that's a whole nother conversation. But uh, the point is, you know, I see things like that going on. I see things like this cryptocurrency going on. Um, I see things like the QAnon movement going on. I see things like Julian Assange getting arrested going on. And, uh, you know, and I just kind of tap into like the masses and kind of their pulse and their thoughts and their feelings. You know what I mean? Because we're all, we're all connected. And I just get this greater sense that something's about to happen. Something's about to change and it's going to be a good thing. Although, you know, change isn't always good for everybody. It can really be disrupt people. You know what I mean? So I'm really blessed and lucky that I'm found this path where I can discern truth and you know, I stick to it and it just makes everything so much easier. Whereas some people are really going to get rocked. You know what I mean? And, you know, I don't want anybody to feel that way. But at the same time, everybody's on their own journey and they have to go through their trials and tribulations in order for them to learn the lessons they need to learn it or whatever. Right. So, you know, I kind of talk to people who are already on the path and I'm just trying to be like, listen up, like we're doing this thing and it's happening and smile and be a part of it. And, you know, just know good things are happening in the world, right? And feel that way and be about it every single day because you, you do create your own reality, right? So if you keep, if you stay stuck in the whole mainstream, lamestream world where everything sucks and uh, what else? And every, yeah, everything just kind of sucks and I, I'm tired and I'm sick all the time and uh, you know, I gotta pay all these taxes and blah, blah, blah. And you're just like in a mental prison of sorts, then you know, you're gonna be in one. But if you kind of wake up to what's going on and you decide, you know, I'm just gonna be the change that I wanna see in the world. Like I want to be the change. And, and that's a pretty powerful thing. And they don't want you to be the change because they know that we're powerful creators. And that's why they slowly but surely subvert us into going along with their plan because they know if we do it out of our free will, then they win and then we're basically trapped you know what i mean we chose collectively to be trapped or you can choose to be the change and then that kind of stuff won't stand up because in the in the rules and confines of free will you know if we don't choose it then we're not going to be subject to it right and they don't want you to know that right so that's why they do everything in their power to basically keep you down and dumb and stupid and all that kind of stuff so you know just uh just, uh, I hope this message just kind of makes you smile and makes you say, yeah, I, I do want to be the change and yeah, you know, things are actually looking up and, you know, it's, it's, you know, earth is an interesting place, but I think it's changing for the better and, you know, just kind of give you some broader perspective of things that are kind of going on and, you know, just remember that, uh, you know, we're in this for the long haul and I know sometimes the day to day mundane just like will, will beat you, beat you up a little bit. I mean, I think the other day I was less like, I just don't, basically the only way my schedule works is if I like prep all my food, you know, at dinner for the next day and just all this other kind of stuff. And I'm just like, I just don't want to do that. I just want to sit on the couch, but I can't because if I do, then like every minute of my day kind of matters just to do the, I mean, doing the program is a full-time job and then going to a full-time job is a full-time job and then sleeping the amount of hours you're supposed to sleep is a full-time job. So, I mean, it's it literally, that's a three full-time jobs. That's 24 hours in a day, three, eight hour days. I mean, it just is what it is or whatever, right? So, you know, uh, just kind of keep trudging along, keep your head up, don't get too down on it. Things are happening, things are changing. You know, sometimes it seems slow, sometimes it seems fast, but, uh, you know, if you have big picture thinking and you kind of zoom out, then, uh, you know, I think it keeps morale high or whatever, and hopefully things like what I'm saying also help. But anyway, that's all I got today, so y'all have a good Friday, y'all have a good weekend, and, uh, yeah, yeah, God's good. That's all I gotta say, so, peace.